In a chaotic world where emotions and challenges surround us, stoic wisdom makes a challenging comeback. It teaches us something liberating. Sometimes to grow, we need to release the ties of certain relationships, even those with family or friends. This is an invitation not to isolation, but to authenticity and inner peace. Today, let's explore 11 signs that it's time to cut ties, so get comfortable to fully absorb the content. If you're new here, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Statistics show that only 3% of my audience is subscribed to the channel. If this content has helped you in any way, I ask that you subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Let's begin. In the intricate tapestry of life, relationships hold a profound significance, shaping our journey and influencing our personal growth. The assertion that, when relationships hinder your personal growth, the friendship that can end was never real, prompts us to delve into the profound nature of genuine connections and familial love. In an ideal scenario, both should serve as unwavering pillars, providing the necessary support and guidance in our relentless pursuit of wisdom and virtue. Nevertheless, it is imperative to acknowledge that the very relationships meant to nurture our personal development can, at times, unintentionally veer us off the path of growth. The realization that emotional ties may be acting as impediments to our true potential demands deep and sincere reflection. When the bonds we share begin to tug us away from our authentic selves and hinder our pursuit of wisdom and virtue, it becomes essential to reassess the dynamics at play. Authentic friendships and familial bonds, grounded in mutual respect and a shared commitment to growth, are meant to empower rather than stifle. A true friend or family member becomes a beacon of support, encouraging us to embrace our potential and face the challenges that accompany personal development. In contrast, relationships that inhibit our progress may reveal themselves as transient or built on shaky foundations. Thus, this introspective journey prompts us to question the quality of the connections we maintain. It urges us to discern whether our relationships align with our aspirations and contribute positively to our journey of self-discovery. The realization that a friendship may not be genuine or a familial bond may impede personal growth can be a daunting revelation, yet it serves as a catalyst for necessary change. In conclusion, as we navigate the intricate interplay between relationships and personal growth, a mindful examination of our connections becomes paramount. It is through this discernment that we can cultivate and nurture bonds that elevate us, fostering an environment conducive to the pursuit of wisdom, virtue, and an authentic sense of self. It's important to analyze the dynamics of these relationships. If ties with family or friends are becoming toxic, undermining your confidence, feeding negativity, or worse yet, limiting your opportunities for personal and professional growth, perhaps it's time to consider a change. Authenticity plays a crucial role when faced with the delicate decision to sever ties. It is a courageous act to acknowledge that certain relationships no longer positively contribute to our journey. By embracing authenticity, we not only demonstrate integrity, but also make room for new connections and opportunities aligned with our personal growth and well-being. Embarking on the journey in pursuit of stoic wisdom proves to be a transformative and enriching endeavor, despite its inherent challenges. This ancient philosophy serves as a profound guide, highlighting the immense value of freeing ourselves from the burdens of relationships that no longer contribute to our personal development. By doing so, we create a vital space within our lives, opening doors to a more meaningful and fulfilling existence. At the core of Stoic philosophy lies the powerful concept of detachment, a practice that invites us to reassess and realign our relationships for the sake of achieving a more balanced and fulfilled life. Contrary to a simplistic view of cutting ties as an ending, Stoicism encourages us to perceive it as a strategic move towards personal flourishing. This nuanced perspective prompts us to scrutinize our social connections, emphasizing the importance of investing our time and energy wisely in relationships that foster positivity, personal growth, and mutual learning. Stoic wisdom, therefore, serves as a constant companion on the path of evaluating and refining our social circles. It guides us in discerning the impact of relationships on our individual growth, challenging us to recognize that our time and energy are invaluable resources that should be directed towards connections that align with our pursuit of a more virtuous and enlightened life. In adopting Stoic precepts, we learn to view detachment not as a cold severance, 
but as a deliberate and thoughtful act that nurtures our well-being. The philosophy encourages a mindful curation of relationships, advocating for those that contribute positively to our character and journey. Through this lens, the process of cutting ties becomes a purposeful step towards creating an environment conducive to personal development, resilience, and inner tranquility. As we traverse the path of Stoic wisdom, we come to understand that the richness of life lies not in the sheer quantity of relationships, but in their quality. Stoicism teaches us to cherish connections that align with our values and aspirations, fostering an environment where wisdom and virtue can thrive. In the tapestry of existence, the practice of detachment, guided by Stoic principles, becomes a thread weaving through the intricate patterns of a purpose-driven and deeply fulfilling life. When faced with the difficult choice of ending a relationship that does not contribute to our personal growth, Stoic wisdom serves as a guide. By cutting ties, we not only free ourselves from harmful bonds, but also make room for a more promising future. This act is not a renunciation of the value of the past relationship, but an affirmation of our commitment to progress and well-being, following the fundamental principles of Stoic philosophy. So the next time you encounter the tough decision to cut ties, remember Stoic wisdom and consider the possibility of walking a path more aligned with your true journey. This is an opportune moment for us to engage in deep reflection and reassessment of the connections that permeate our lives. Reassessment, far from being a simple process, demands introspection and at times the courage required to make challenging decisions. This is a period where introspection transforms into a valuable tool and the ability to make tough decisions reveals itself as an act of authenticity and self-determination. Reassessing established ties represents a profound undertaking that necessitates a meticulous analysis of long-standing relationships. This process extends beyond mere scrutiny. It involves a critical examination of entrenched family dynamics and the discernment to distance ourselves from friendships that, instead of contributing to our enrichment, have the potential to impede our personal growth. The complexity of this undertaking renders it a journey of self-discovery, a quest that demands time, reflection, and above all, a deep sense of self-appreciation. As we embark on this journey of reassessment, it becomes paramount to recognize the monumental influence that relationships wield over our personal growth. The connections we maintain function as significant threads in the fabric of our identity, playing a pivotal role in defining who we are and shaping the trajectory of our life's journey. Therefore, when confronted with the necessity to sever certain ties, it is crucial to approach this challenge with the understanding that it presents a unique opportunity. Rather than a mere act of detachment, it becomes a chance to intentionally curate an environment that is more conducive to our personal development and overall well-being. This multifaceted process involves not only evaluating the external dynamics of relationships, but also delving into the intricate layers of our own values, aspirations, and evolving identity. It requires a thoughtful examination of how these connections align with our personal goals and contribute to the person we aspire to become. In essence, the reassessment journey is a dynamic exploration of self, marked by a conscious effort to realign our social landscape in a way that resonates with our authentic selves. Time and reflection become integral components of this transformative process. It is through these contemplative moments that we gain clarity about the impact of various relationships on our emotional and intellectual growth. This introspective phase allows us to discern which connections nurture our potential and contribute positively to our journey. Simultaneously, it empowers us to acknowledge when certain relationships may have served their purpose or have become counterproductive to our well-being. In navigating the delicate terrain of reassessment, self-appreciation emerges as a guiding light. Cultivating a deep understanding and appreciation for oneself provides the strength needed to make difficult decisions, prioritize personal growth, and foster relationships that align with our evolving sense of self. Ultimately, the journey of reassessing established ties unfolds as a transformative odyssey, where the destination is not only a curated social landscape, but a richer, more authentic version of ourselves. The quality of these connections not only influences our journey, but also has the power to positively or negatively impact our emotional and mental well-being. Understanding this, we realize that the courage required to take a step toward authenticity and personal growth 
involves not only rejecting what no longer serves us, but also being willing to make room for new opportunities and relationships that nurture our potential. Thus, this reassessment journey is not just a critical analysis of the past, but also an optimistic vision towards the future. It is a statement of commitment to oneself, an act of self-love and respect for one's own needs and aspirations. By redefining relationships and establishing healthy boundaries, we open doors to more significant growth and a fuller life aligned with our values and goals. The essence of the matter lies in understanding that personal growth is intrinsically linked to the people with whom we choose to share our journey. Healthy and constructive relationships are those that not only support us in our quest for self-development, but also challenge us positively. Moreover, such relationships respect our individual essence and life goals, creating an environment conducive to personal flourishing. Reflecting on the nature of the relationships we cultivate, it is pertinent to consider the wisdom of Seneca. The pursuit of genuine connections capable of withstanding the test of time and adversity becomes a priority. These authentic relationships not only complement our journey in the pursuit of wisdom, but more significantly, walk alongside us towards virtue, contributing to the construction of a more solid and enriching path. In the process of reassessing relationships, it is crucial to expand our focus beyond direct ties and consider the broader dynamics of our social network. In some cases, it may be necessary to adjust not only the intensity of certain friendships, but also the quantity and quality of family interactions. Understanding that the social sphere plays a crucial role in our personal growth propels us to evaluate how each relationship contributes to building a solid and positive support network. Reassessment, therefore, extends beyond mere individual introspection. It encapsulates a comprehensive analysis of the intricate web of relationships that shape our life's journey. It beckons us to delve into the nuanced dynamics of our connections, recognizing the profound impact they wield on our personal growth and emotional well-being. As we navigate the complex tapestry of relationships, we gain the power to fine-tune the intensity of our interactions, sculpting an environment that harmonizes with our aspirations. In this intricate dance of human connections, we hold the reins to shape not only the nature of our relationships, but also to harness their potential as catalysts for ongoing development. By consciously adjusting the threads that weave our social fabric, we pave the way for a supportive and nurturing social circle that propels us towards authenticity and a more fulfilling life. As we embark on the profound journey of reassessing our connections, it is imperative to underscore the pivotal role played by authenticity and self-appreciation. The process of evaluating and, if necessary, recalibrating our relationships requires a deep connection with oneself. This internal compass becomes the guiding force, enabling us to make discerning decisions about the relationships that genuinely contribute to our well-being and personal growth. Authenticity becomes the cornerstone upon which we construct our support network, fostering an environment where genuine connections thrive. Through this introspective process, we empower ourselves to make tough decisions, acknowledging that the quality of our relationships directly impacts the trajectory of our lives. Thus, the act of reassessment becomes a transformative endeavor, not only sculpting our connections, but also allowing them to become powerful allies in our pursuit of a more authentic and enriching existence. When faced with challenging decisions, the significance of aligning those choices with your true essence and values cannot be overstated. Authenticity serves as a guiding principle, creating a framework within which relationships not only add value to your life, but also act as propellers toward your overarching goals. Embracing authenticity goes beyond a momentary reflection, it evolves into an ongoing journey of self-discovery, self-acceptance, and perpetual personal growth. The reassessment of existing connections transcends a mere analysis of relationships. It metamorphoses into a continuous expedition of self-discovery. It becomes a profound commitment to crafting an environment that fosters personal flourishing and a tireless pursuit of wisdom. Each decision made in this introspective process becomes a golden opportunity to fortify your connection with yourself actively steering the trajectory of your life toward an existence that resonates more closely with your true aspirations. In grappling with the challenges posed by destructive emotions within relationships, it becomes imperative to delve into strategies and tools that promote positive transformation. Here, the practice of empathy emerges as a potent ally. By immersing oneself in the shoes of another, understanding their perspectives and feelings, 
one can disrupt the cycle of automatic reactions. This empathetic approach not only nurtures mutual understanding, but also cultivates fertile ground for the construction of healthier and more meaningful relationships. Moreover, within the realm of relationship dynamics, a deeper exploration of communication strategies can prove invaluable. Effective communication forms the bedrock of any thriving relationship. By honing skills such as active listening, expressing oneself clearly and fostering open dialogue, individuals can create an atmosphere conducive to constructive interaction. Such intentional communication not only helps navigate challenges, but also strengthens the fabric of connections. In essence, the journey of reassessment and the pursuit of authenticity intertwine, guiding individuals towards a more conscious and intentional approach to relationships. By consistently aligning decisions with personal values, fostering empathy, and refining communication skills, one not only transforms the quality of existing connections, but also lays the groundwork for a future enriched by genuine, fulfilling relationships. Therefore, the quest for authenticity, conscious reassessment of relationships, and the practice of empathy converge to create a narrative of self-reflection and continuous growth. These elements not only enrich your personal journey, but also contribute to the construction of deeper and more meaningful relationships along life's path. Moreover, it is fundamental to recognize that effective communication plays a crucial role in the building and maintenance of healthy relationships. Expressing feelings clearly and respectfully, as well as actively listening to the partner, contributes to creating an environment of open and constructive dialogue. The joint pursuit of solutions and mutual understanding are pillars that strengthen the foundations of a lasting relationship, promoting the creation of deep and meaningful bonds. By incorporating mindfulness and self-awareness practices, we can cultivate a mental state that facilitates a more balanced response to adversities. Following the teachings of Marcus Aurelius, a profound understanding of our own emotions and the ability to manage them become fundamental elements to maintain control over the mind. This inner journey not only allows us to understand unknown facets of ourselves, but also provides a solid foundation for building more resilient relationships, as authenticity with oneself reflects in shared authenticity with others. Another relevant point is the importance of forgiveness as a tool for emotional release. Recognizing that imperfections are an intrinsic part of the human condition and being willing to forgive both oneself and the partner creates a crucial space for individual and joint growth. Forgiveness, far from implying forgetfulness, represents a conscious choice not to allow resentments to dictate the course of the relationship. It becomes a catalyst for emotional healing and the construction of an environment where mutual understanding and continuous evolution are prioritized. In the intricate tapestry of human connections, the weaving together of effective communication, mindfulness practices, the continuous development of self-awareness, and the transformative ability to forgive creates a powerful toolkit for constructing and preserving robust relationships. These essential elements not only serve to fortify the bonds between partners, but also play a pivotal role in fostering individual and collective flourishing. They lay the groundwork for resilient foundations capable of navigating the challenges that inevitably arise along the shared journey of life. Effective communication serves as a linchpin in this process, facilitating the exchange of thoughts, feelings and aspirations. By honing the skills of active listening, clear expression and open dialogue, individuals can cultivate an environment of mutual understanding and collaboration. Mindfulness practices further contribute to this dynamic by fostering a heightened sense of presence and attunement to the emotions and needs of oneself and others. This heightened awareness allows for more intentional and empathetic interactions, deepening the connection between individuals. The ongoing development of self-awareness becomes a cornerstone in the construction of meaningful relationships. Understanding one's own values, triggers and aspirations enables individuals to navigate interpersonal dynamics with authenticity and clarity. Moreover, the ability to forgive, an often underestimated yet potent tool, serves as a catalyst for growth and healing within relationships. Forgiveness liberates individuals from the burdens of resentment, creating space for renewed connection and understanding. In the fascinating journey of self-discovery and emotional enhancement, seeking the guidance of professionals such as therapists or counselors becomes not only valid, but also highly beneficial. These experts provide specialized insights and strategies 
that can amplify the effectiveness of personal and relational growth. Incorporating such tools not only enriches the individual's path, but also contributes significantly to the construction of solid, enriching and gratifying relationships. As individuals actively engage in these practices, they not only fortify the bonds with their partners, but also cultivate an environment conducive to personal and mutual growth. This holistic approach to relationship building becomes a continuous process, a dynamic interplay of communication, mindfulness, self-awareness and forgiveness, creating a resilient tapestry that stands the test of time and adversity. Through this intentional effort, individuals and their relationships become more adaptable, fulfilling and resilient in the face of life's complexities. Venturing into this quest for personal growth, it is essential to consider the perspective of experts who can provide valuable insights and proven techniques for dealing with emotional challenges. Professional guidance not only offers a safe space for the expression of feelings, but also provides practical tools to face and overcome obstacles. This approach often opens doors to a deeper understanding of oneself and others, strengthening the foundation of relationships. By incorporating these perspectives and practices, it is possible to transform challenges and destructive emotions into opportunities for growth. The journey of self-discovery gains a richer and more meaningful dimension, reflecting in the relationships we cultivate. Mutual understanding, respect and love become the solid foundations that support these connections, providing a basis for individual and collective flourishing. In the face of the pressing need to preserve our mental and emotional health, it is crucial to internalize the idea that while we cannot control external events that arise in our lives, we have total power over how we choose to react to these events. This profound understanding requires a continuous exercise of self-analysis and self-control, crucial skills to maintain balance amid the challenges of relationships. Thus, investing in self-understanding and acquiring tools for emotional enhancement not only strengthens interpersonal bonds, but also contributes to a fuller and more meaningful life. When confronted with the constant manifestation of negative emotional states in a relationship, the imperative need arises to conduct a deep assessment of the existing dynamics. It is fundamental to question whether this relationship is indeed contributing positively to our well-being and personal growth, or if we find ourselves trapped in a persistent cycle of emotional turmoil. Reflection on the positive evolution of our emotional state becomes a key piece in this process. We must question whether, over time, we have experienced constructive transformation in our state of mind, or if, on the contrary, we are stuck in a cycle of destructive emotions that undermine our emotional health and inhibit our personal development. Facing destructive emotions in relationships demands the practical application of the teachings of Marcus Aurelius. Cultivating patience, understanding and empathy is essential, but it is also crucial to establish healthy boundaries. In this context, following Stoic principles implies not only accepting the reality of the moment, but also having the courage to make difficult decisions for one's own well-being. In some cases, the courageous decision may involve distancing oneself from relationships that, instead of contributing to our growth, act as obstacles to reaching our full emotional and intellectual potential. Marcus Aurelius, with his philosophy centered on authenticity and self-control, reminds us that the pursuit of emotional balance requires discernment and, at times, the courage to distance ourselves from what no longer serves our growth. Thus, the constant evaluation of emotional dynamics in relationships is not just a measure of self-preservation, but an expression of self-respect and self-care. By applying philosophical teachings in practice, we not only seek emotional balance, but also strengthen the foundation for healthier and more constructive relationships, where mutual growth and authenticity become solid pillars. It is crucial to realize that this path of self-discovery and personal empowerment is not a solitary journey, but rather an opportunity to learn to value relationships that truly uplift us. The practice of authenticity and self-acceptance becomes essential as it allows us to discern between connections that add meaning to our lives and those that unfortunately diminish us. Embracing this journey, we recognize that the inner strength mentioned by Marcus Aurelius lies not only in silent resilience, but also in the courage to seek relationships that foster a healthy environment for personal flourishing. This attitude sometimes involves difficult decisions, but is fundamental to achieving a more solid state of emotional and relational balance. 
Given the complexity of interpersonal relationships, identifying and addressing situations of manipulation and control is a fundamental step in preserving autonomy and emotional well-being. In this context, turning to Stoic wisdom, especially the perspectives of Epicurus, emerges as a valuable approach. Epicurus's impactful phrase, no one is free who is not master of himself, emphasizes the importance of individual freedom and self-governance as essential pillars for personal development. Stoic philosophy, by emphasizing autonomy, prompts us to reflect on the signs of manipulation and control in relationships. When we find ourselves in a dynamic where our choices, thoughts and actions are continually shaped or directed by another person, we face a clear violation of our personal freedom. This subjugation goes against Stoic principles that value self-control and the independence of the individual. It is crucial to develop the ability to recognize the signs of a manipulative or controlling relationship. These signs can manifest in various ways, including constant criticism, diminished self-esteem, social isolation, and even the imposition of decisions without considering others' opinions. By being attentive to these patterns, it is possible to take proactive measures to preserve one's autonomy and foster healthier relationships. Furthermore, the Stoic approach encourages us to cultivate emotional self-mastery, strengthening the ability to resist manipulation and external control. This implies not only recognizing the existence of these patterns, but also developing the courage needed to establish healthy boundaries and assertively communicate our needs and desires. Considering Stoic philosophy not only as a source of wisdom, but also as a practical guide for dealing with interpersonal challenges, provides a solid foundation for building more balanced relationships aligned with the core values of autonomy and mutual respect. By applying these principles, we can tread a path that promotes inner freedom and the construction of more authentic and enriching relationships. Identifying behaviors that erode not only self-confidence, but also imprison the individual in a cycle of emotional and psychological dependence, underscores the importance of awareness in the quest for liberation. It is crucial to recognize when we are involved in a relationship that limits our personal autonomy, as this is the first step to break the chains that bind us. Epicurus, with his timeless philosophy, highlights that true freedom arises when we are masters of ourselves. This mastery involves not only taking control of one's life, but also establishing healthy boundaries in relationships. If necessary, it is a call to the courage to end ties that deprive us of the essential freedom for personal flourishing. The decision to end a manipulative relationship, though challenging and often painful, represents an act of courage. This step is crucial to regain control over one's life and embark on the path of authenticity. The process of liberation is not just about severing ties, but rather about embarking on a profound journey of self-discovery. A journey of self-discovery and self-affirmation involves not only understanding one's own worth, but also reaffirming it. It is an opportunity to recognize personal boundaries, strengthen self-esteem, and establish healthy standards for future relationships. This process is an investment in oneself, building a solid foundation for future connections based on mutual respect and individual appreciation. Therefore, by choosing to break free from relationships that compromise autonomy, the individual not only liberates themselves from harmful influences, but also creates space for significant personal growth. It is an act of courage that lays the groundwork for a future aligned with the principles of authenticity, freedom and self-mastery, as advocated by the teachings of Epicurus. In a chaotic world where emotions and challenges surround us, Stoic wisdom makes a challenging comeback. It teaches us something liberating. Sometimes to grow we need to free ourselves from the bonds of certain relationships, even those with family or friends. This is an invitation not to isolation, but to authenticity and inner peace. Today, let's explore 11 signs that it's time to cut ties, so get comfortable to fully absorb the content. If you're new here, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Statistics show that only 3% of my audience is subscribed. If this content has somehow helped you, I ask that you subscribe and activate the notification bell. Let's begin. Reflection on the nature of relationships that shape our personal journey is crucial when we realize that, instead of propelling our growth, they may actually be obstacles. The quote emphasizing that a friendship that may end was never real invites us to explore the true essence of familial love and friendship. 
Both should ideally be pillars that sustain and guide us in our relentless pursuit of wisdom and virtue. Understanding that relationships ideally should be sources of support and growth is crucial, but reality does not always align with this idealization. Sometimes, we find ourselves in emotional ties that, instead of propelling us toward our true path of growth, divert us from it. In those moments, introspection becomes imperative, a deep and sincere analysis that allows us to recognize whether our emotional bonds align with our authentic path of development. When destructive emotions begin to dominate a relationship, it is timely to delve into the realm of this deep reflection. The wise words of Marcus Aurelius, a representative of Stoicism, resonate in this context. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This powerful reminder highlights the importance of maintaining control over our reactions, even when external events seem to escape our dominion. In situations where manipulation or control is present, addressing this dynamic becomes crucial to preserve autonomy. The Stoic perspective of Epicurus, expressed in the impactful phrase, no one is free who is not a master of oneself, underscores the importance of being the master of our own life. This implies taking control of decisions, establishing healthy boundaries, and, when necessary, having the courage to end relationships that compromise the essential freedom for personal flourishing. Therefore, when pondering the complexity of relationships, it is vital to apply these philosophical teachings as guides for authenticity, growth, and resilience. Constant reflection on the nature of our connections and the courage to act in accordance with our fundamental principles are crucial steps toward achieving genuine relationships aligned with personal development. The importance of reciprocity in any relationship cannot be underestimated, being a key element to ensure its health and long-term sustainability. Imbalance, where one party contributes consistently while the other only receives, creates a harmful and unsustainable dynamic. It is crucial to recognize that truly healthy relationships are built on the foundation of reciprocity, where both parties actively strive to nurture the connection. In situations involving any form of abuse, Stoic philosophy provides a clear moral compass. The emphasis on the importance of self-respect and dignity guides us to never tolerate abusive or harmful behaviors. This principle, grounded in the preservation of individual integrity, underscores the need to establish healthy boundaries and seek relationships that foster a safe and respectful environment. Effective communication emerges as another crucial pillar for the sustainability of any relationship. When communication consistently fails, whether unilaterally or consistently conflict-ridden, we face a serious obstacle to harmony and mutual understanding. Open dialogue, active listening and clear expression of feelings are essential elements to overcome communication challenges. However, if communication remains a constant source of misunderstandings, it is imperative to address this issue to prevent emotional distancing and promote a stronger foundation for the relationship. Preserving tranquility, serenity and inner peace, as advocated by Stoic philosophy, takes center stage when a relationship disrupts these fundamental aspects of life. If we find ourselves in bonds that consistently negatively impact our inner peace, this serves as a clear signal that these relationships need careful examination. Deep reflection on the compatibility of these connections with our values and goals is crucial, and if necessary, the willingness to reassess or even end relationships that do not contribute to our emotional and spiritual well-being. Thus, by addressing these principles and considerations, it is possible to build more robust relationships aligned with personal aspirations. The pursuit of reciprocity, the rejection of abusive behaviors, the promotion of effective communication, and the preservation of inner peace become fundamental pillars in constructing genuine and healthy connections. Living in alignment with one's values is not only a central aspect of Stoicism, but also an essential pillar for building a fulfilling and meaningful life. When faced with relationships that pressure us to compromise or betray our fundamental values, a crucial dilemma arises, inviting careful reflection and deep reassessment. The compromise of values in a relationship often represents an internal challenge where personal integrity and authenticity are put to the test. Stoic philosophy encourages us to stand firm in our principles, even in the face of external pressures. The pursuit of harmonious coexistence between individual values and interpersonal relationships is a journey that requires self-awareness 
and the courage to set boundaries that preserve personal integrity. Another relevant Stoic principle is the emphasis on accepting reality as it is. Relationships that divert us from this acceptance, promoting illusions or denial of reality, can become sources of tension and unnecessary suffering. The practice of acceptance, aligned with Stoic teachings, underscores the importance of understanding and embracing reality, even when it differs from expectations. This understanding contributes to the construction of more robust and resilient relationships. The absence of mutual respect in interpersonal relationships is a crucial point that deserves special attention, especially in light of Stoic principles that value dignity and self-control. Establishing and maintaining clear boundaries, communicating respectfully, and fostering an environment that values each person's individuality are essential aspects of cultivating healthy relationships. When a relationship disturbs tranquility, serenity, and inner peace, fundamental elements in Stoic philosophy, it becomes imperative to evaluate the compatibility of that relationship with our life goals and emotional well-being. Preserving these states of emotional balance not only enriches the personal journey, but also contributes to the building of more authentic relationships aligned with fundamental values. Therefore, by exploring these Stoic principles in approaching relationships, we can build deeper and more meaningful connections, where integrity, acceptance and mutual respect form the foundation for a more enriching interpersonal life. When we find ourselves in relationships that consistently disturb our inner peace, it is a clear sign that these relationships need to be carefully questioned and, if necessary, reassessed or even terminated. Reflecting on the depth and wisdom of Epictetus's words, the first and greatest victory is to conquer oneself. We understand that ending a relationship is not a failure, but a courageous step toward authenticity and personal wisdom. This journey, though challenging, is an opportunity for growth and reaffirmation of our highest values and principles. Remember that every choice we make, especially those leading us to end situations that harm us, is an act of courage and profound self-respect. Embracing this stoic journey not only safeguards our well-being, but also opens us up to a more virtuous and fulfilling life. If any part of this message has been helpful to you, please leave a like and a comment, helping the algorithm recommend it to someone who may need it right now. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss new videos, and if you explore the videos we've already uploaded, you're sure to find something to take with you.